Allison Sheridan of the No Silicast Podcast, hosted at Podfeet.com, a technology geek podcast with an ever so slight Macintosh bias. And this is an iPad. We're doing an iPad unboxing. This is the Wi Fi only model of three, it's not the 3G, it's just the Wi Fi. It's uh, going to be 64 gigabytes. So let's take a look at what we're going to find out in here. We have Care a couple of careful, dear. <laughs> Since I can hurt myself on molecules of air, that's probably a good thing. Oh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt because I'm still cold from standing outside in the, uh, you know, freezing Southern California weather. But we were outside for a long time, so it was cold, right, dear? Very. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So exciting. Get the box open. Don't hurt anything. Ah, I see why all the photos I've seen just kind of look kind of creepy and flat. That doesn't look like anything, does it? All right. And there we are with answers to a couple of questions. We do get a little, uh, one of those annoying dock things, or uh, charger things. We get another USB cable because we need a lot of those. And some instructions that we'll never read and never look at. So let's see. Take a look here. It's always, it's, uh, it's smaller than I thought. That's one thing I couldn't get a feel for how big it felt. It feels pretty small. How about the weight? How does the weight feel? Well, they say it's a pound and a half, so I guess it feels like a pound and a half. <gasps> say compared to the MacBook Air. It started Air. to turn itself on. Just All right. Just taking the plastic off turns it on, huh? Well, I must have bumped it. Uh, <laughs> Lindsay's in the background saying that I turned it on. I did not I didn't remember turning it on. So, let's see. It's telling me to plug it in. So, uh that a little less annoying. Okay, let's plug this in, and it should ask to authorize. Oh, I need to name it. Lindsay, got an idea for a good name? Oh no, I'm not good at that stuff. Nolan, are you good at that stuff? No. Oh, look, there's little, little. How about Huey? <gasps> Huey. And then, if we get two more, we could have Dewey, Dewey and Louie. You bet. Okay. Now I think I hit iTunes, so let's bring iTunes up. Photos and automatically sync applications. Sure. Say done. Oh. Sync in progress. Do you want iTunes to open automatically? Yes. Am I getting the angle oh, for the glare? I see some scratches on the screen. I know. Your iPad contains diagnostic information that may help Apple improve its products. You want to tape on that? So do I want to do that? You may periodically collect and use this information. Sure. You go improve your products, Apple. So the case is really thin. They had cases by a couple of companies, but they were big, bulky things. And this thing is, I mean, this is nothing. The, the back flap seems fairly flimsy. I mean, the front flap seems fairly flimsy. We were playing with this actually in the car. We cheated. We opened it twice. It looks like you slide the iPad in this way. And then when you to tilt it up, there's a little flap back there, and you do that. So I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to fold that under or something. I think you're supposed to fold that inside. It looks kind of dopey like that. And then like that to type. And I was thinking, oh no, it'll be upside down. But it won't be upside down because you'll just flip it over and then it'll be right side up. So we're about three quarters of the way through with that. So Can you stick it in now or because it's docked you can't? <clears throat> I think it's docked. I, I should wait. All right, what are we doing now? All right, so one of the questions was, does it weigh more than a hardback book? So uh, just to prove the weight here, can you see the... Uh, it's an ounces. There? One, one pound, 8.4. That might be the cable. So one and a half pounds, like they said. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you pick? A nice Tom Clancy? Uh, no, this is actually H.G. Wells' Complete Science Fiction Treasury. That's actually a good one because it's got the... Does it have the time machine in it? Probably. So get it, time machine. Two oh, pounds, pounds, six ounces. ounces. Oh, boy. So it beats the complete science fiction history uh, of H.G. E. Wells. Of course, that of is e. a, a little on the large side of the hardback books. Perhaps, perhaps. The first men in the moon, I mean... But is our books over? Yeah, it could be the death knell. So from what I understand, you have to download the, I, the iBooks application. So I'm going to see if I can find that in the store. Actually, should I have gone to applications? Probably should have gone to application. But let's see what happens if I just search on iBooks in the store. Mm, podcast episodes, iTunes U, iPhone apps iPad apps, there it is. So we need to download that to install that. Because we're going to want to buy books. Now my goal, I don't know if it's achievable, but my goal is going to be to buy the, um, the book Boiling Point by Tom Merritt. It is my goal to find, have that be my first ebook. iPad sync is complete. Okay to disconnect. We are disconnecting. We are undocking. 
That is a little stiff to get in and out. All right, here we go. Slide to unlock. Edit home screen. To rearrange icons, touch and hold any icon until it starts to wiggle. Then drag icons to desired locations. Okay, it's like I've never seen an iPod before. All right, what do we want to see first, Steve? Let's go to tweet, Tweety. I don't have Tweety yet. Oh. Let's go to videos. All right. I think I moved one movie. We'll see if I moved any. Yes, I put, I put up on it. Let's watch that. This is heavy. <laughs> it's only one and a half Look, it's got, it's got the description of the movie, and it's got the, uh, the thing there. Look at it that way. Oh, and you can go to chapters. I'm going to prop that up. Actually, that's the other thing we Maybe need Maybe you should to put it in its case. I could put it in its case, but we want to play it first. Oh, you know what? It's starting where I left off. Oh, from, from the last the time I watched viewing. it. Yeah. Now it's as... good color. Good resolution. Notice there's black bars at the top and the bottom. Yeah. 16 by 9. Let's check if I can go louder. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You get some pretty good volume out of that. All right, so we got it on the network, and I'm starting to notice how heavy it is. So I'm going to put it in the case. This is definitely, I think having a case is a good... Oh, wait, there's probably an up and a down to this. The dock should probably go where the hole is. That would so be good. So we have a dock connector on the bottom. We're trying to figure out what everything is. Speakers. Those appear to be speakers. Three of them. So it's um, not stereo, but... Oh, it must be triphonic stereo. <laughs> there we go. My first no, record no, no, player I think was that triphonic. Center one's a subwoofer. Oh, that probably is <laughs> right. Uh, so that's the uh, headphone jack. We think that's a microphone, and that's the power switch. On this side, we have the volume control, and I'm not sure what that is. What is that? Oh, that might be a lock or something. Yeah, oh, that's it, a lock. It is a lock. Okay. Oh, that might lock the screen from tilting. So, let's see. So right now, right, and now I think if you do that. Now when I rotate it, it won't. Oh, and that's really good. important to have access to that when, you're, when you want to read a book in bed you want to lay down. It's not going to be rotated. Good idea. Okay. Boy, that smooth move. That just really feels good. What are you looking for? Um, iBooks? The iBooks. But I'm going to do what Naraj taught me, which is push this and you can just search for what's on your device. And searching for applications is much faster that way. Alright, there's, there's our your books. Bookshelf. Oh, did they give me a book? Yeah, it's probably a little Looks free. like they gave me a free book. There. Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. Katie was talking about this. This is her favorite. Look at that. Look at that. Nice page changing. Do you want to try it? Sure. <laughs> but you can also tap it, evidently. Yeah, I think you would start tap. I think at the beginning you're going to want to do that because it feels natural. So does a tap go faster? Yeah, a tap... Does it quickly or you Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's cool. I'm going to do that for a while. You can be sure of that. Now, I think you get um, some controls. <laughs> oh, here's what I wanted to see. How big could you make the text? That was a question. Oh, wow. You can make it pretty big. Oh, can you pinch, Lindsay was no pinch. asking. No, no, pinch. no pinch. No pinch. That's not as big. Oh, look, we didn't have full brightness. Oh, wow. There's the brightness. So you're reading at night. You don't want it blinding you. A book. My goal, I think I already said, is to try to find... Tom Merritt's... Uh, boiling Point. Boiling Point. Okay, so... I'll it's about that. how to boil water. I think so. Bulking Point? Maybe... Boiking I, Point? <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> oh, boy. The, you're going to oh, find I, something else there. How am I doing? <laughs> Whoop. There it, there it is. Found it. Suggestion. Is it by Tom Merritt? No. No. Hmm. Wait, that one's erotica. Maybe not. <laughs> not that one. All right. Well, we may have to do look the Kindle up, story. Can you look up it. by author? Yeah, I'm sure I can. Uh, Tom probably doesn't have too many books out there. I think he's only got one. His book may not be in that store. So I may have to get the Kindle oh, app to do it. Be? No search, but it might be it's in the, the Kindle, Kindle store. Oh, There's see. not as many books here as in the Kindle store. All right. Well, I think that gets us uh, started pretty well. And that will close us out for the No Silicast podcast hosted at podfeed.com. And follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash podfeed.